Today we're going to make an English trifle. Okay, what is an English trifle? A trifle is a traditional English layered dessert. It's got a layer of lady fingers and then a layer of jam. We'll top that with custard, which we'll make from scratch. Then a layer of raspberries, another layer of lady fingers, then beef sauteed with peas and onions, a little more custard, bananas, and then we'll top that with whipped cream. What was that before the bananas? So to celebrate the release of the Friends reunion, we thought we would try to make the traditional English trifle. If you'll recall, that was made by Rachel in season six, episode nine, as a Thanksgiving episode where she tries to put together something nice for her friends and ends up combining a traditional English trifle with a shepherd's pie recipe. First, there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then custard, which I made from scratch. <laughs> then raspberries, more lady fingers, then beef sauteed with peas and onions, <laughs> then a little bit more custard, and then bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. <laughs> and makes something that I've often wondered, what did that taste like? It tastes like feet. So we'll give it a try. We'll also give you some tips on if you wanted to make this in ways that doesn't include beef. So we will make this like Rachel did. We will make our custard from scratch. We'll also make that beef sauteed with peas and onions. Mmm. And we will make our whipped cream from scratch as well. Then after all of those elements are, after all of those elements are chilled, we'll put the layers of the trifle together. And then after it's put together, we'll have to taste it. And then we'll see if we have more of a Ross reaction or a Joey reaction. I like it. So we're gonna have a little friends fun today. Let's get started with the custard. I've chosen a simple cooked custard recipe for today because I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be the best dessert that we've ever made. So I wanna make sure that we're doing things simply. We need to combine the flour and the sugar. This is 2 thirds cup flour and one and a half cups sugar. How do we combine them? Just pour them in the pan. Okay. Combine them. <laughs> oh! So I'm just gonna whisk these together and get out any lumps. This is six eggs. This recipe is a little simpler than others where they have you separate the eggs and use some egg whites, but mostly egg yolks, and we've gone simple today. All right, I'm going to pour three cups of milk in with the dry ingredients. That's a lot of milk. Can I borrow your whisk to just break up these eggs? pour those into. So we're just going to whisk this until it is smooth, no lumpies or chunks of eggs. You move that a little faster. How about I give it a turn? Okay. Oh! <laughs> this is why you watch videos on how to do this. <laughs> Stir combine. Yeah. Like a witch's brew! <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's definitely all one color now. Yes. This is where the slow process begins. We heat this over medium heat until it becomes like a refrigerated pudding consistency. So it should thicken up quite a bit. Not be like this, runny, runny. I'm gonna get in all those egg whites. This should take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes of stirring. Okay, this thickened up like pudding, and the recipe says to boil it for one minute while whisking constantly. After it's boiled and whisked smooth, you can add the vanilla. I'm using half a tablespoon. Now, if you see some little lumps in here, you could run it through a sieve to make it really beautifully smooth or use a, uh, an immersion blender to try to really break up any lumps that are in there. Um, this is smooth enough for me for a beef trifle, so <laughs> this will go into a container to sit in the refrigerator until it's foot and into the refrigerator until it is completely cool. So while the custard is chilling, now is the time to make our beef sauteed with onions and garden peas. It's a little bit weird, and I was in my spice drawer trying to figure out how to season this beef, um, and I just don't really know what goes with vanilla custard and beef and peas, so I picked a seasoning blend that I like to use. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what seasoning is this? I don't, I, I don't want like Italian beef. It's this. not Italian, this is called back of the yards. It's got garlic pepper and... Okay, well this is supposed to be what would be in a shepherd's pie a type shepherd's thing. shepherd's pie. What type of I also don't know what's in a shepherd's pie. I would suspect something like mushrooms and you know, a rich brown gravy sauce, um, which I'm just not willing to do for this, so... All right, minimal seasoning it is, let's go. All right, I'm gonna saute the onions for just a brief moment. Handy dandy tool for 
mashing ground beef and in this case onions in a pan. All right, I'm going to add the ground beef in with the onions and break it up. This is where I'll salt, pepper, and just maybe a half teaspoon of this. Can we not? I beg you. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, this beef is still looking a little bit pink, but I wanna go ahead and add the peas now. I'm not going to add all of these peas because I don't want to overwhelm the beef. Right, In, or custard. Right, I guess I could give it a taste. It's beef with onions. Yeah. Okay, here you go. All right, now that this is cooked through, I'm going to drain it, put it in another container, and chill it completely for our trifle. While our ingredients are chilling, we thought we'd have a little fun with a test. The test is ready. Let's go! Oh, yeah. See how well you know us. Uh, if you think you know the answer, drop a comment down below. First, the categories. Fears and pet peeves, ancient history, literature, and it's all relative. Okay, Lisa, which category do you want? Uh, let's start with fears and pet peeves. Fears and pet peeves. What is Lisa's biggest pet peeve? Oh. Put your answer in a comment below. We'll let you know if it's right. All right, Doug, what category? Ancient history. Ancient history. I assume this is about Greeks, Romans. In what year did Doug and Lisa meet? Right, it's about Greeks and Roman times. <laughs> if you ask our kids, maybe. Were you alive when George Washington was alive? No. No. Leave your answers below and we'll let you know if you're correct. If you get all the answers right, we'll give you our house. Ooh, that's interesting. False. <laughs> so we have all of our ingredients now cooled yes. and ready. Ready to assemble this layered trifle. We're gonna start with the lady fingers. These are just soft little cakes. They come in strips like this kind of connected and you put them against the side of one of these footed trifle bowls. They're too tall, you can cut them down. Layer on the bottom. I see these around the edge are decorative. The around the edge are decorative, along the bottom we just wanna fill in as much as we can. So after our layer of lady fingers around the edges and on the bottom, we'll add a layer of jam. This is raspberry jam? This is raspberry jam to go with our raspberry fruits. So another important part is to make sure that you coat this and let it kind of drip between the lady fingers. So this jam is intended to be kind of a protective layer to keep it from getting soggy. Although one might say that the sogginess will come from the jam. But the jam will soak into the cakes. Or the beef. All right, a little more jam. <clears throat> <laughs> a little more jam. First custard layer of two, I've put this in a piping bag to make it easy to scoop in. This is a thick layer of custard. This is a thick layer of custard because it's kind of the bulk of the dessert, you know. And then I will use my spatula to just kind of... Make it look less like small intestines. <laughs> even it out. Then our layer of fruit. This, these are fresh raspberries. You want to put them in concentric circles. <laughs> That is not happening. <laughs> We're literally adding beef to this. <laughs> the beauty is lost when meat is in your dessert. Okay, then comes another layer of lady fingers. And this time we're just kind of going around the inside. We're not trying to build up the walls again. Whoops. So next will be our layer of beef sauteed with peas and onions. It smells very beefy and oniony. And it's going in this beautiful raspberry dessert. So, uh... Before we ruin it, I thought we would show you an alternative. So this is what the actual beef sauteed with peas and onions looks like. This is what Cocoa Krispies with green Skittles looks like. So if you can find green Sixlet candies, those are the best candies to use in this mixture. But I couldn't find those today, so we're using Skittles. We're not using Skittles, we're using beef and peas. Oh. And a little shepherd's pie to your trifle. Oh, it smells so... Beefy. And now for... A little more custard. Little banana? Little banana. I'll let you slice and apply the slices in concentric circles. One? I'm getting strong whiffs of onion every once in a while. And now we top this with a hearty helping of whipped cream. Maybe we can drown out those onions. <laughs> but it's only the onions that are the problem. You're like, hey, listen, if it was just beef, I probably could have been fine. Maybe. Well. Behold! A traditional English trifle. Only one thing left to do. Before we taste it, if we've made you laugh so far, maybe hit a thumbs up. If you like what you've seen, hit subscribe, hit the bell. 
And now we have to taste this. It's a somber mood here. So with serving a trifle, you've got to scoop kind of all the way down to get all the layers. Even the beef layer. Even the beef layer. Or especially the beef layer, maybe that's. Ugh, baby finger, beef, pea. Beef, custard. onion, custard, and whipped cream. Why do we always taste things and forget to get water? <coughs> so honestly, the custard is delicious. The whipped cream, of course, how can you go wrong? Uh, the jam is nice. Jam's very strong. The jam's strong. Maybe I didn't get that much in my bite. Well. But I got plenty of beef and peas. Yikes. You aren't making yummy noises. Mm, oh, mmm. <laughs> I go. wasn't supposed to put beef in the trifle. No, you were not. <laughs> so if you're gonna make one of these at home, I highly recommend that you use the alternative. Yes, those Cocoa Krispies and some sort of Six green lots. candy, Sixlets, are much better. <laughs> yes, couldn't be worse. No, he's still eating it. Well, what's not to like? Custard, good. <laughs> Jam, good. Meat, good. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll let Doug finish his dessert in peace. Bye. <laughs>